Hello you guys, Sunday 6 Gaming here with another video and today I'm doing the slash summon command tutorial and uh, first I want to say thank you to all you guys because in I think the past month I've gone up almost 100 subscribers I think and it's pretty amazing I always uh, and I'm also getting a lot of comments and just views and I would just really want to say thank you for that that's pretty great so um, Today I'm going to do slash summon, we're just going to start here and then go over to, or no, first I'm going to do the summon basic and then I'm going to do this row, because this row is just all some hidden entities or some special things you can do with summoned entities and this is just how the summon commands works and what you can do with it. So let's start with summon basic, basically what summon command is, is just summon or slash summon if you type it in chat then the name of the entity and then the coordinates of where you want to summon it so this is gonna summon a pig two blocks above the command block a pig so if you want to know what entities there are you can just do this and just tab completion all the way through with tab and it's pretty useful so yep i can just do, 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 do that one that wasn't a very useful one, a throne potion. Yeah, but now we're gonna go on to s these hidden entities. Um, so, to summon a horse, it's slash summon entity horse. But this is a zombie horse. And it looks pretty cool. And that's just basically summon entity horse and then type tree. So, just right here between curly brackets, type tree. Really simple. The next one. It's a, a skeletal horse, exactly the same, but type 4. So yeah, it's a skeleton horse and a zombie horse, pretty cool. Next we've got the killer rabbit. Now it's named the killer bunny, and it's got red eyes. And let me just slash game mode 0. And if I get close to it, it's gonna kill me. As you can see, it did a lot of damage. And it was going to kill me pretty freaking quick. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Next is the giant wither. This thing is actually really weird. If you look too far up, you don't see it anymore. And that isn't actually the wither. That right there is the actual wither. That's flying around and is invisible. Invisible and just still shooting things. Really weird. I don't know how it works. Don't ask me. But that's a way to get a freaking huge wither. By the way, it's called Grum. I'll explain later what that does, but yeah, and why that's like that. So, um, let's just kill that Wither boss we've got flying around. I don't. Uh, I've got Mob Cleaving off, but still, I just want it dead. So, next is a Minecart Spawner, which is basically just a Minecart with a spawner in it. Slash summon Minecart Spawner. I don't even know if it's that hidden, but I don't know. If everyone knows about it existence either these are well if they're they're not exactly secret but they're at least pretty new and I've not used them in the videos here yet so I want to show them minecart spawner just minecart with spawner in it and minecart command block also pretty new they're not in here but they are in the slash summon thingy so and you can just push this on over here and then when it reaches the activator rail it will activate the command right now there's nothing in it but if i just say uh, do this it will say my name when it writes the deactivator rail actually said it three times so yeah that's pretty useful the next three can be done in vanilla survival with name tags but if you name a sheep jeb underscore it will be a rainbow sheep and that's pretty cool if you name any mob Grum and or Dinner Bone, it would not and you can't give it two names. But if you name it Grum or Dinner Bone, it will turn the mob upside down. That's why I called the Wither Boss is called Grum because when you just spawn it normally, it's well, it's upside down. I'll show you right now. And if I summon it like this, where is it actually? I don't even even see it. I think it might be in the ground. Oh no, not. Let's just kill that wither boss again. Oh yeah, there it was. It was in the ground. So yeah. And then if you call any rabbit toast, you will get this exact rabbit every single time. 
Now to move on with the slash summon command and its possibilities and other star. You can also name a mob with slash summon, slash summon, and then the tag is custom name Bobby Bacon. And now we've got a piggy called Bobby Bacon. And all commands will be in the description, so if you forget anything, it doesn't matter, you can just scroll down to the description, copy things over if you want to. The next is have a mob riding another mob. The tag for this is riding, then between curly brackets, ID chicken. And in this I also uh, use another tag. So you've got this riding. And then between curly brackets ID chicken. So this is a zombie riding a chicken. And then the second tag I use here is is baby. So is baby will basically make it a bomby, uh, bomby, a baby zombie riding a chicken. If I uh, remove is baby it will be a normal zombie. Not an other useful one with this got caps lock on is I think this is how you do it this is the tag if I'm right yeah and now we've got a villager zombie a baby villager zombie riding a chicken is villager will basically allow you to summon zombie villagers so those three are just covered in this command block so yep riding right uh, Baby zombie villager riding a chicken. That's a mouthful. Next is giving a mob equipment. So here's a zombie with full diamond gear. And how you how you do it is equipment as tag. And then square bracket. And then uh, five curly brackets. With between each of them ID. And then the ID of the item you want them to equip. So here we've got ID 276. Which is diamond sword. And then the rest is armor. So yeah, you can just replace those IDs with anything you want. And you can use name IDs now in a 1.8. I just use the numbers, but you can do any armor you want. You can give him a bow. And yeah, that's pretty freaking useful. Next is the huge slime. And I just really like the lava slime because it jumps so high. You can do this with lava slimes and normal slimes. I mean, just also summon a huge normal slime. Ta-da! And it's just size and then and then whatever size you want. This only works with these two mobs. And don't put the size too high. Because I crashed my game several times because of it. Alright. So the next is a mob with potion effects. So this is just active effects. And then just like with the equipment. Square brackets and then between curly brackets. Each potion effect. So uh, a potion effect requires a bit more than just an ID. Also an amplifier and a duration. The ID of the potion effect, the amplifier is how much the potion effect does, how strong it is, and the duration is how long it stays, and uh, this should make it infinite. So, for this one I'm actually going to have to build a little thing to be able to demonstrate it properly. So, let's just do that. Summon it. Jump, piggy. Jump. Because I gave him jump boost. Jump! And there he goes. He's gonna fall any minute now, and he's dead. So yeah, I gave him an amplifier of 50, so his jump boost is pretty freaking high. But you can put um, just a comma here and just another potion effect. You can give him as many as you want, and it's pretty cool. Um, then enchanted equipment. So you give them all this equipment, but how do you do enchant them? Well, what I did here is... But instead of just having the ID, I use a comma, then a tag, and the tag will just basically allow me to put a tag on the item. So, unbreakable one, covered in this command, unbreakable will ma basically make it so that an item like a sword or some armor never breaks. So it's unbreakable, pretty self-explanatory actually. And then we've got enchant, and then the ID of the enchant, so this is basically going to say give the sword sharpness. So the enchantment I also explained in my slash give, uh, slash give command I did two weeks ago. So yeah, that's how you enchant the equipment. And I did this for each equipment piece. So fully enchanted diamond stuff zombie. Pretty cool. Then next is no AI. So this is a zombie with no AI. Basically what that means is that it will not move... It will basically, it won't do anything at all. If you summon a no AI creeper, it won't explode if you come close. It won't 
do anything it what as you can see gravity doesn't affect no IA, IA mobs it just basically they do nothing and that can be useful for things next is the a, a very simple tag invulnerable this will basically make mobs invulnerable so here's a zombie he will not burn to death I cannot hit him to death what something's not right all right so I figured it out it's actually killable and creative but if I go to game mode zero I won't even be able to hit it it will actually be invincible so yep but if I go to creative, I can just kill it. So it's only invulnerable to people in uh, survival. So yeah, that's how the, that works. Silent. Now this one I can demonstrate. My sound is muted because my headphones broke and I didn't want an echo. So I basically what this is supposed to do, I think, is that the mob actually makes no sound. Which makes sense with silent. But yeah, I can't demonstrate that now. So sorry. You're just gonna have to assume. <laughs> or check yourself. Next tag is can pick up loot. So can pick up loot one on this zombie. Now the can pick up loot basically what it does is that zombie's probably gonna die. Pick up the sign. Pick up something. Did I mess this one up too? What the hell is going on? Okay, so for some reason I can't uh, get this one to work, but yeah. Next one's persistence. Persistence required. Basically, I think uh, what this does, I can't really notice the difference too much, but that uh, it really persistent in attacking and doesn't quite give up as fast, I think. But yeah, for the rest, it's not that big a deal, this tag. Uh, next is riding a horse because I already did riding but for riding a horse you actually also need to use the tag tame one because if a horse isn't tame it will just kick the zombie right off again so if you do riding a horse and this is also a zombie horse because that's cool uh, you need to use this tame one tag so here's a zombie on a zombie horse voila Next is the TNT view. So the basically this allows you to customize how long the views of TNT is. And if I just put it to 30, you might be able to notice it explodes slightly faster. You might not have noticed, but yeah. I can also just set it to 10. Click and boom, it explodes explodes way faster. So it's just views for that and then how long. I think it's in ticks, so or it might be in seconds. I don't know. I think it's in ticks. So, and then next we have uh, I uh, I explain how to uh, give player heads in my slash gift tutorial. But again, with the tag I also used for the enchanted gear, you can give p uh, zombies or skeletons a player head. So this is a sentinel sentinel skeleton. Really original. I know my own head. I I know. So yeah. Next one is attributes. I actually did an attribute tutorial one time, but I'm just gonna explain here again. It's uh, um, this isn't all attributes. This is mob attributes. You've also got some other stuff, but yeah, check out my attribute tutorial if you want. My slash gift tutorial. Uh, it might help you as well if you haven't seen them yet. So attributes, and then the name of the attribute right here. It also says name generic dot movement speed. And the base is how much? So this is gonna be a movement speed of two. That's twice as fast as normal, I think. Walk, skeleton. <coughs> Freaking walk. Um, maybe it helps. Got a game of tour. I'm gonna die. Oh, yep, he's running. They just saw him. Just run. And he's running around, and I'm gonna die. Fuck. Uh, well. F so yeah, that's attributes. There's more attributes. You can find those uh, in the attribute page. I'm gonna link below with all of them. <laughs> I'm just seeing him in the background running in circles. Real productive there, buddy. 
And the next is a tag specifically for zombies and that's can break doors. So with this tag you can determine, determine if a zombie can break a door or not. Now this is one and I think it still only, can only be done in like hardcore mode. Because otherwise zombies just don't break doors. So yeah, next is an OP mob and basically this is a long command so long I don't even want to go over it. I'll just put it in the description. But it basically combines everything and it has a shit ton of potion effects, attributes, armor, everything. And it's riding a horse and it's invisible and basically it's freaking invisible. If I try and fight this guy, I'll basically be dead. Just hit him and uh, f not you skeleton, fr fr freaking hell. What now? Ah, I thought I... Well, he's less overpowered than I thought I made him. But yeah, I'll just leave the command for him below. He's OP as balls, basically. <laughs> I'll just go through everything again. A lot of stuff. So yeah, that was the slash summon command. I hope you learned something. I hope you know how the com uh, slash summon command works now. If you have any questions, think I didn't explain something properly, properly. Just ask below and if you're wondering my English is just not going too well today. I'm stuttering all over the place I've got the feeling but yeah that was the video. Really thank you for watching. I've been appreciating how much uh, subscribers and views I've been getting over the last month. The last month I think I got like uh, 100 subscribers or something. 300 I know it's not much but it is a lot to me and it's enough. And uh, I just want to thank you guys. Goodbye. And until next time.